Hi, here's a very brief demo of the Wonderland webcaster that I've been working on. What I have behind me is uh, the usual setup. I have uh, two clients, one here which is been logged in using the regular Wonderland web start client and over here I just have another client which has a web browser open. So uh, as you can see I've logged in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the Wonderland webcaster object. I'm going to open the control panel to that and then start it webcasting, broadcasting. Um, the Wonderland webcaster object uses Flash to send images to uh, an RTMP server and it also relies on the Wonderland voice bridge in order to be able to handle the audio. And you'll see from the Wonderland client that I use a combination of a Flash client and a SIP client in order to be able to capture the audio and the video that's coming from the server. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to the screen recording so you can see what I'm doing. So here I am logged into a Wonderland client that I've started using WebStart. You can see I have a simulation of a meeting going on and if you listen carefully you may be able to hear some audio in the background. What I'm going to do is insert a webcaster cell using the insert object menu. And there it appears in front of my avatar. Then what I'm going to do is open the control panel and that's the view that the webcaster cell can see. Just to demonstrate that that's a dynamic image I'll just move around so you can see my avatar should appear. There it is. And if I walk towards the uh, avatar that's making the uh, sound, what kind of it drops off and I can get closer. So there's my avatar displayed in the cell of the, uh, the webcaster cell, the view of the webcaster cell. So to start the webcaster webcasting, I press this button here. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to close the window and I'll move over to the client that's running on the other computer that's just a regular web browser client. Okay, I'll start it and close the control panel. So here I am on another client with a web browser. Uh, it's just a regular Safari web browser and I'm going to put in the URL for the webcaster HTML page. You'll see from the URL it's already preloaded it, uh, with the URL with the server name and the stream name it automatically connects to that. You can see the moderator here if I move my avatar in the other client you should see the moderator move. There you go. On the right hand side we have preloaded the address of the server to connect to and it's remembered my username from a previous incarnation. I'll put in my credentials and I'll log in to the VoiceBridge server. It tells me I've registered, there's a number here which is 6666 and I'm going to call that number. So it's asking me to put in the phone number and the number I'm going to put in is the one that's up here, one hash. And you can hear in the background the sound that's coming from the meeting. I'm going to drop the so I've dropped the call because it's a little loud and the call's finished. So what we've demonstrated here is a way of connecting the audio via this Doddle Phone SIP client and this audio is two-way audio so it's not just a receiver it's also a sender and over here we have the flash client which enables us to see into the virtual world provided by Wonderland. So here we are back at the WebStart client and it's really important that I go back and open the control panel and turn off the webcaster because this uses quite a lot of graphics processing so I'll just click the button here to stop it broadcasting there you go that's it okay that's it so hopefully you've been able to see that with a regular web start client we can insert and control a webcaster object that is just part of the Wonderland um, system just something that can be added like a module 
and then from a regular browser, as long as it has Flash enabled and a Java applet, we can connect to the Wonderland server and just be able to uh, stream the video from the server so we get to see what's going on in the world and also use a SIP client, in this case Doddle Phone, to be able to connect to the audio so we can also hear what's going on in the world. And we always have it from the perspective of the webcaster that's in the world. So if we should move the webcaster around, we'd also get a different view of what was going on and also be able to hear different things. That's it. Thanks.